Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And I've had this uh, question a few times. It'll probably pop up today with a video I posted uh, concerning smartphones and tablets running either um, from Apple running iOS or from Android. And a term that we actually hear regularly when we start talking, especially about Android devices, side loading of apps. What does that mean exactly? So when you use a smartphone on Android or a tablet on Android, same thing for iOS, if you use an iPhone or an iPad, you know that you have to go through the store, the Play Store, the Google Play Store on Android, the App Store on iOS, on iPhones and iPads. This is where you get apps. This is where you usually get the different apps. Um, an example of that um, here that I could uh, tell you in in Windows is the Amazon App Store through the Android subsystem that exists in Windows 11. So same thing happens here in the Windows subsystem. When you go to it for apps, you technically have to go through the Amazon App Store to get the apps. So this, of course, is the way that it keeps most people secure and also it helps both Google or Apple to control, you know, apps, app revenue, and so on. But something came up, and in the past also on Apple, but you'll see that today on Apple, it's not really something much that is feasible. In Android, uh, being a open system, uh, I always call Android the Windows of mobile why? Because it's uh, so open that you can install anything. Uh, compared to iOS or um, you know, on I Apple's iPads and iPhones, which is very closed down, you can't really do much outside of it. So one of the things that actually became available when you had a uh, Android phone or tablet was to tell the system, oh, by the way, I'd like to install apps from outside of the Google Play Store. And definitely, the packages for apps are available on several websites where you can download your favorite app directly and install it on your Android device without having to go through the Play Store. There are advantages to this. An example, I have a tablet here that doesn't have the full apps in the Google Play Store, but when I go and sideload the same app that I would need, it works and I can actually still get it, but I have to get it from outside. It's like downloading a file in Windows uh, rather than going to the Microsoft Store. Another thing also that uh, we have, when you are in Windows and you have in Windows 11 the Android subsystem, same thing can be done. I showed you the uh, Amazon App Store earlier. We have to go get apps there but you can actually go into the advanced settings in the subsystem, turn developer mode on. This will enable you to actually install apps from outside the store, which is once again, what we call side loading. So this is, uh, has some advantages, definitely. Now on iOS, that is a, impossible to do. And the reason, the main reason is of course for big, better control of Apple devices, but there's also a very big reason for blocking sideloading and it is because of security. Unfortunately, sideloading can be cool, but it also uh, has one major impact. You could be getting packages from a website that have virus or malicious software into it. So if you have malware in that app, you install it on Android, you actually just infected your phone or tablet with some malware. Uh, so by blocking this, it lowers the risk of that happening because now you are in a controlled environment. Now is sideloading possible on iOS? It was possible at some point. I don't know up to what point today it would be. Uh, there used to be something called jailbreaking. When I had an iPhone 3 uh, GS, I believe, is the one that I had. I remember back then I had jailbroken the phone, which gave me a different app store and gave me different possibilities. And there you could sideload apps. But Apple, of course, is battling that, so it's making it difficult to jailbreak or do anything. I'm not even sure a modern iPhone can be jailbroken 
like it used in the past. Uh, Apple definitely is, doesn't want you to do this. So that's the way it is, and that's what sideloading is. It's simply downloading apps from outside of the environment that it's supposed to be, so outside of the app stores, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.